All right, so I'm Chris. I'm Dr. Dropkick. What? <laughs> Yo, you gotta say that, otherwise it'll fuck me up. I'm Dr. Dropkick. And I'm the Jive Turkey. And uh, this is Falcom. Uh, so Falcom is a really great game from 1987. Yep. Uh, the sequel to Captain Falcom. Yep. And, Captain uh, Falcom's Great Adventure. Ah, uh, yes. Tears yeah. of Captain Falcom. Tears. Uh, <laughs> HD Remix 1 half. Yes. Japanese game titles, Alpha Turbo, Mega Remix. Oh, wait, there's there's a different name showing up. It's no, there's a, not. It's a bit faint, but I can, I oh, can make so. it out. I think it says Versus. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> uh, ancient Yes Vanished. We're going to go find the Ancient Yes no, album. Yes is my favorite album. Their we're, favorite band. We're going to go find Roundabout. Yeah. Yep. But, wait, what? this is a... It's an 8-bit console, technically. Is that tur Turbo Graphics? Yes. Tur what is that? Turbo... But why are we hearing such good audio? I don't understand. Oh, it's all, it's what was that? The ideal utopia. Once a country so peaceful and oh prosperous. God, that's voiceover. A country Yo, where children else in this was room. free as the what? wind. A country where harmony blew through the hearts of all men. Harmony blew through the hearts of all men. Yes. I'm okay with that. Yeah, I could, I could use a blow of like harmony. Yeah. 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 yeah, especially An from some eight bit anime ladies. And blessed by the enchanting aura take my socks off. Of its two beautiful I'm going to sit cross legged. Yeah, right. yeah. yeah, we actually. Okay, this is. Um, East, the seemingly tranquil paradise. I feel yeah, like I can't talk. No, from can't. the height of its civilization. To the empty Quiet. abyss of infinite they isolation. They need to know that yes is a bastion of harmony How could against such a the land infinite of abyss of and simply vanish from the face Seems of the so planet. Seems so pretty. How could such prosperity be forgotten? The legend has been silenced for over 700 years. Yeah, we need a new album. <laughs> and now, the mystery unfolds. It even looks like a yes album cover. What, Roger Dean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. I'm the Jive Turkey. Welcome to Yeast. I'm Doctor Dropkick. And, and I'm Doctor Dropkick. God damn it! And yeah, this is uh, this is Yeast. I've been wanting to do this game since we started. Since we did it last time. Yeah. But we we're finally doing it now. I'm happy. But we're doing the Turbo Graphics version. I know. So, this is the CD attachment is on this. So this was a CD game. In 1989, it came to North America. Maybe there were CDs in 1989? Apparently. So we're going to start from the beginning. That okay. seems like a logical place to start. So so what the story was basically telling us was, yes, was a land. Well, where, oh. oh, yeah, we get this sick song. This song's so dope. Oh, sweet. In yeah. the beginning. Yeah, the music is like it's CD audio. And like... <laughs> One piece... <laughs> All aboard and bring along all your hopes and dreams. At all. Ancient pirate captain <laughs> hid a treasure or something. Fina. Gold Roger, king of the pirates. <laughs> Liar. Layer. Yeah, all these like names are different. Like that's Leah, later Aria, later on. Layer was a terrible PS3 game. Yes. Lilia, Lilia I think that's the same. Multipass. Dude. Look at these graphics, though, eh? Oh, man, look at her licking that controller. <laughs> no, she's blowing into her Nintendo cart. Oh, don't do that. No, Lilia. Gamma. These are the priests of East. Dabby. These are the priests of Yes. These are Prog fans. Hadal. Toba. That's Tova in, uh, in the modern ones. I am so... Oh, it's that guy's the best. Go Bon. I'm super jamming to this. It's so good. So good. Oh, it's full screen. Look at her eyes shimmer. Oh, shit. She's so pretty. Oh, my God. I'm so hard. <laughs> Fact. <laughs> <laughs> and that's Darm Tower. Ooh, we got a synth axe. No, that was like, this is actually guitar. Oh, yeah. You gotta do your dailies. Dals. Wait, why'd they credit Dals? He's not in this game, I don't think. Darm. Yeah, neither is Darm. Well, uh, he's got his towers in here. His tower is. Oh, yeah, that's right. This is, um, one and two together. Yeah. That's right. Look at... It's a rota tree. The what? 
The Rhoda tree. You'll find out later. The tree of Rhodes? Yes. And it immediately starts into the game. It just has to load for a while. <laughs> so yeah, welcome to uh, Yeast One. We actually recorded this game... We recorded the PC version of this. This was like, that was like one of the first games we did too, I think. That was like within the top like four or five. It was just before Mario 64. Okay, Because yeah. that's why we scrapped it, right? Because right, uh, yeah. we got the new audio set up. Yeah, so like we recorded this from before on like Not Great Capture. Well, we OBS'd it off the PC version. Yeah. And we had our headset microphones. And yeah. Before we got the mixing board. The Dark Era. Yeah. You know, before the before our, our personal renaissance. Back when there was peaks and heavy breathing. Oh, God. <sighs> Please stop that. We're recording hot now. That's going to sound like an... I don't know. What are those called? FTL videos? Oh, God. Hey, Asmar? Asmar. All right. Asmar. So, yeah, that's the fortune teller, Sara. What's, uh, what's Sara's song? Uh, you're going to hear it in a second, actually. Oh, shit, really? That's her store, her for fortune teller store. Something terrible is going to happen in this country. You are the only one who can save us. However, you will need the proper weapons for your battles. Okay. Please, purchase a sword, shield, <laughs> and armor from my shop. I, uh... When you return, I will tell you what I would like you to do. So what we're saying is, like, the fortune teller Sarah's brother owns the weapon shop, and this is their racket? Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Um... I now, I know a way you can get some like money pretty quick. Look, <laughs> they're conjoined. <laughs> we love to play in the Rhoda tree. That's where we always have to go fun. Guys, it's illegal to have fun like that in public. Uh, excuse me, but I'm in a big hurry. I am Dr. Klaus. My patients are waiting for me. Oh, he's got patients. Look at how like their legs. To so, Stefan, mm -hmm. I have some concerns. What's your concern? This looks like an RPG. Now, we said... Those are really long games and stuff, so we may not even... I would like to do them, but, like, what are we... Well, this is actually known as the longest game of all time. So tell me about so, Yeast. Like, what's going on with all this? Um, well, I'm just going to do this first, and then I'll, I'll get into it. Okay. Hey, brother, will you listen to my story? Yeah. Yes. I'm Donis. I've lost an expensive sapphire ring that I bought for my wife. I had to work long and hard for that ring. <laughs> now, I don't dare go home. I know his wife anger. <laughs> oh, I know my wife anger. So wait, he bought her a gift and she's mad that he lost it. Well, it, I think like it's like bitch. an engagement ring. She still sounds like a bitch. Her love should be enough. But Let's anyways. Into Pim. Yeah, Pim's trading shop. Look at that sketchy fuck. God, fuck me. Oh, look at that. He's selling a sapphire ring. A thousand gold. Well, we've only got a thousand. Oh, we have a thousand gold. Yeah. Oh. So I'm going to buy that. I mean, I don't like giving money to that thieving fuck, but whatever. It's all right. We'll burn his shop down later. Thieves have stolen many treasures from the shrine. So you want to know what the deal with this? This game's a very short game. Okay. This is why I wanted, I, why I wanted to do it on the channel. What? You found the ring at Pim's train shop? That filthy son of a bitch, traitor. I want to pee on his shop. That shit felching puff cunt. <laughs> and he gave me 1,500. Oh. And I got a level. Yay. Wow. Yeah, you get levels for doing quests. Not that there's many. Yeah, the whole world can hear that. Yeah, I know. I tried to be quiet. Uh, so I'm going to buy the short sword. Okay, so, so what? what's the deal you wanted to know? Like, what? This looks like an RPG. It, it is. Okay. But it's a little bit different. It's, it's closer to an action RPG. An ARG? And, yeah, but, you know... The RPG genres were less defined at this point in history. <laughs> this game, like, this version came out in 89. The original version on, like, Japanese computers came out in, I think, 87. Okay. So, like, this is, like, a contemporary of Dragon Quest. Shit. So, uh, this was, like, a huge deal when it comes out. Oh, this sounds so good. So, the way you do battle, like, everyone's there, but... It, I don't just swing my sword. You bump into them. You try not to go head on because, I mean, I can do it with these guys are low level, but you try to go at the side, their back, or like just off center. And it's great because people find that weird. I love it because of how quick it makes fights. Like I didn't have to transition screens. I just did it. I just walked into him. He's dead now. Huh. And look how fast I'm gaining this gold. I need to get up to 700. 
I can just walk around, they're gonna respawn. But the problem is, it's, well, not so much a problem. The thing you gotta watch out for is just as fast as they die, you can also die. Yeah, because I saw your health drop down as soon as the fight was over, you restored. Yeah, if you stand still on the field, you'll heal up automatically. Ah. So this game, and this is, they're still like this today. It's just made to be fast. Hmm. They don't use the same battle system anymore, but everything is designed to, so things happen very, they, very quickly. What do they use now? Now it's more like a traditional action game. Ah, so but, yeah, but you have like a swing button and... Yeah. yeah. And recently it's party pace too, which is something that they changed in 7. Hmm. I absolutely adore these games. Um, they're just... They're crazy fun. And the music is um, unbelievable. I'm really I'm really digging like every tune that we've hit so far. Yeah. I love because it's on the duo. Not every song is CD audio. So some of them uses the hardware like this song. So there's this like stark contrast. So I remember when we did this the first time. Yeah. It took forever to get started because I couldn't remember where the shop was and everything. But we're already... We're already moving. We're already 30% of the way through the game. No, not yet, but... Oh. This is a very short game. Oh, fair enough. Which is why it came packaged with two. Ah. Thanks. On a single 700 megabyte CD. Uh, back then, there wasn't as compressed back then. There's probably about two, three hundred. Anyways, mm. you're her. You're she. Thanks for easing my worries. By the way, do you know about the Book of Yes? Yes is the name of an ancient band that existed long, long ago. The history of Yes was recorded in six volumes, known as the Book of Yes. Books. 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 Books of Yes. When Yes vanished, the six books disappeared as well. The crystal indicates one of these Books of Yes is in the shrine. Vanished. It's been in your shrine. Do you think you can recover the book? The Book of Souls. I think so. Yeah. Uh, you know what? Really? Wow, she didn't wow. think what? I would do it. Huh. Uh, okay, yeah, I guess. Oh, she's going to give me a crystal, uh, though. Please, take this crystal with you. It'll help you find your way. So you are Adol. Adol. Adol Kristen. Adol Kristen. Ah, Adol Kristen. Oh, I got a level. Fuck off. And I'm about to get another level, too. So, yeah, we're doing we're doing well. And they love to play under the rhotic tree. So what... Because we were talking about when this game came out. Yeah. This is so weird. I don't have my laptop in front of me because we're using a different recording setup now. So I hope you think this looks prettier. But, like, I can't tell, like, episode lengths at this point. So fuck it. Uh, so what, like, console games would have been contemporary to this? Because you mentioned Dragon Quest. But, like, for something that Western audiences might know. To give so an in North America when this came out? Yeah. Um, it came out alongside Dragon Warrior... Final Fantasy 1 and Fantasy Star. Okay, what about like the Mario series or Zelda? Uh, Zelda, okay, when this was first made, Zelda was a couple years off. Okay. Like it hadn't existed yet. Yeah. Okay. Because the big game that, uh, that kind of led to this game being made and Zelda being made is one that gets shit on a lot because it is a bad game by like today's standards and I can't, like, I'm. I can deal with a lot, but I can't deal with this fucking game. <laughs> but that's Hydalide. Okay. Hydalide was, like, hugely influential in Japan. And a lot of, like, these action RPGs came from that, even though it's a shit game. Hmm. So I respect it, but I hate it. I can't stop killing these guys. It's too fun and too easy. <laughs> what are these fucking wolves? That's a rota tree there. Ah. No. It's not gonna... Oh! Oh, fuck. You, you're hubris. Yeah. So, oh, I'm going to save. You want to, especially at the beginning, you die so easily, you just want to save a lot. Yeah, I noticed unlike the PC version, this did not give you a difficulty option. Yeah. Um, yeah, the PC version had difficulty settings. I feel like there's a, you, yeah, I thought so. You see something sparkling at the bottom of the pond. You dive in to check it out. You found James Pond. I found a golden vase. Ah. So I can sell that to Pim for some money. Fucking Pim. 
And then this being a CD game, they didn't have looping points yeah. figured out yet. <laughs> and then like fully like, gotten Og Vorbis yet. Yeah, this yeah. is way before Og Vorbis. So do you want me to be the person that tells episodes time? Line? Yeah, yeah, that would be great. All right. So what we do? What twenty five minutes? I twenty. 20, 20, all right. 20. Jesus Christ, you should know this by now. I don't listen to you. Oh. I only watch financing videos. <laughs> oh, so Fortune Street. <laughs> Love that game. Oh my God, we've got to do that with like a four peer. Four wow, peer two peer. fucking thousand? Holy shit, Pickle. Yo, we're getting... Thanks, Joey. Oh, you're still an asshole, Pim. How would you <laughs> stop buying like illegal stuff? <laughs> Dick Fountain. <laughs> Your breath smells like weak old fondue. Okay. Uh, let's see what the next sword costs. The long sword. Oh, 2,000. Perfect. Well, handy that. So, look at that. That is a dope sword. Oh, shit. That is a dope sword. So, I think there's like five like levels of equipment in this game. Okay. So, I mean, we already have the long sword. Yeah. We're doing pretty good. So, tell me a little bit about the TurboGrafx-16. Um... Well, it's called the Sick TurboGrafx-16 because they're, you know, trying to win the bit wars. Uh, it's actually just twin 8-bit processors. It's not really an, a 16-bit. Isn't that sort of like how the um, the Atari Jaguar? Oh, yeah, was... I was going to say, yeah, the Jaguar worked. Yeah. Was like, they were like, it's two 32-bit processors. Yeah. So it looks like dick. Well, that's not why it looks... It actually looks pretty good, but they're just big liar pants. Uh. Oh, we're in a new town. I, I don't think I've seen you before. You're traveling to Zeppelin Village. Your village looks like a field. Yeah, pretty much. I'm looking in the mud. I'm bad about the ball. Popping up. No, what he's saying is. No. No. No, not 1942. Go away. <laughs> so, yeah, he's telling us basically, found like a weird room in the silver mines. Which is good to know, but I don't need to know it yet. That shit's years off. You've come at just the right... Oh, hang on. You've come at just the right time. Oh, well done. I have a favor to ask, but first I must know if you can keep a secret. Okay, here's something I want you to pay attention to, because I think this is funny. Okay. Because, like, the beeping uses the same channel as the game music, the game music freaks out when he starts talking. Okay. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Yeah. Anyways. Our village memorial, the Silver Bell, has been stolen by the thieves. I'd like you to bring it back. So wait, it's a secret that the village memorial has been stolen. Nobody in the village is aware that it's been stolen. Yeah. Their memorial. Well, I think it's like, they've got like a fake one. Oh. Can you do it? Count on me! While he's like fondling his breast. Count on me! Count on me! Count on me! What? <laughs> you don't know that song? The thieves' nest is in the mountain to the north of this village. Good, Good luck. luck. Oh, one, one more thing. Please don't tell the village people that the bell has been stolen. Okay. Guys, guys. The bell! Guys. The bell's been stolen! Hey! Silver bells! Silver bells! It's, it's Christmas, Christmas time in Zepic Village. village. <laughs> <laughs> well done. <laughs> I wouldn't have thought of that. There you go. There you go. That's why you keep me around. Oh, there's no... How did they get, get into there? Did they climb in through the window? Yeah. No questions. Came in through the bedroom window. No questions. Oh, that sure is Christian. Oh, I pooped myself. You're going to find the books of yes, aren't you? Oh, and take this key with you. How did... Oh. 